doing i hope everyone is okay and safe wherever you are i'm back with another tutorial i wanted to illustrate to you guys uh something about the intel wi-fi on your hackintosh i've had few complaints from some of my viewers concerning the intel wi-fi the previous video i did some of you are saying that the intel wi-fi is not working on their machines despite the fact that they have followed the tutorial to the latter so i also noticed the problem once i switch to open cause you know i've been using a uh, clover configurator but due to some reasons i decided to switch back to open core which i did successfully and so today guys i'll be illustrating to you what i encountered and how i fixed it a quick thing to note is that this video is not a step-by-step -step guide actually it will be an explanation video so i hope you'll bear with me i'll just be explaining what i did and how i maneuvered through the problem and how i solved it if you want to learn more about how to uh, install the cakes on your machine you can check out my video how to fix intel wi-fi on your hacking tosh so uh, for me i noticed an issue with conflicting cakes as you can see i was reading through an article let me open my browser i was reading through this article then i found that there is a compatibility issue with my itl wm kext and the airport itl wm kext so i was using actually i was not using but both these kects were in my kects folder so once i was installing i noticed wi-fi was not working so after reading through this article i noticed that there's a disclaimer here which clearly states that never use both the ITLWM text and the airport ITLWM text at the same time. So after reading this article, I realized the issue was being brought about by me having the two cakes together. So this is what I did. I moved my ITLWM text to the bin. So it might be wondering why I'm opening the bin. I just want to show you that this text is in the bin. The, that is the ITLWM text, as you can see. I moved it to the bin. So that is actually what I did. And after restarting, it worked. But if you are using Open Core, you should also take note that you should remove the entry from your kernel section. That is, let me just illustrate. You go to Open Core Configurator. then you mount your efi once you've mounted your efi or your yeah your efi you should click the open partition then once you open navigate to the oc folder then to the config.p list then open it once you open it once you open it it will open in open co configurator open co configurator is not your default uh, application for opening the config.p list file you should set it or rather right click then select open with open co configurator now once you open it just ignore the warnings you should come to this section that is the kernel section then here you will always find the entries to the cakes as you can see all the cakes i have contain their entries here so as you can see the airport itl wm cakes which is the one i'm using is here but the itl wm has been removed so to remove the cakes is so easy for example if i wanted to remove the airport i'll click i'll select the cakes once you've selected it click on this minus button here as you can see here this remove button once you click on it it will automatically remove so the cakes will not be active so actually that was it that is the reason why i was not able to get wi-fi before but as you can see right now let me show you let me quit open call as you can see wi-fi is working i'm connected let me open Wi-Fi settings for you to prove that it is working. As you can see, these are other networks. So that was it, guys, for this video. If you are also encountering the same issue, first check if you are using both the ITLWM. What you have to do is remove the ITLWM text, 
then remove the entry from the kernel section if not please let me know so that i can show you the other method which involves using the heliport and the itlwm text to get your wi-fi up and running so thank you so much guys for watching i hope this explainer video was enough and sufficient for you guys to fix your intel wi-fi if you are still encountering the challenge please let me know in the comment section if it helped you out or not also remember to like subscribe and share to the video so that it can reach a greater audience thank you guys i'll see you in the next one signing out